Talk. Uh, I mean, I seen the Bob guy. Like he was here. You asked him questions about like the Quran being created, uncreated. Uh, what does that mean for in terms of like in terms of how he like single out singling out the lordship of God? I mean, like, what's your honest take on that? Like, what do you like? What do you honest? But I know what you're trying to propose because it would be problematic, yeah. right? Because we, we we claim that there can't be a three in one, but then you look to Islam and you say, okay, there's there's possibly a two in one. This is what it seems like what the scholars are saying. Wait, what's your honest take on that though? Yeah, my my I I think that um Tawheed when mm -hmm. when under scrutiny uh falls apart, bro. I I don't think that it's it's consistent or mm -hmm. at least it's not consistent with the accusations that Muslims throw against us as okay, Christians yeah. when we talk about the word of God being eternal and distinct from the Father yet um not separate in his essence or nature and in eternal mm -hmm. and things of this nature and uncreated, which is Jesus. You know, mm. we we have this belief and stuff like that, and it seems that also within Islam, when it comes to Tawheed, they have a similar mm. belief that Allah's word is eternal; it's uncreated, and it's also distinct from Him. But they would say that it's not Allah; it's it's not Him. So yeah. for Hello? for that, that will be two separate uncreated entities. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's problematic. Can, can you yeah, no. Me? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Uh, yeah, the hear first you part, hello. yeah, okay, yeah, you can let bro give his introduction if he wants to. Yeah, 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 I'll let you, yeah go ahead. well, just thank you for letting me. I, I was just, I'm gonna be quick. I just had a bunch of like some questions from what I heard. Uh, yeah, you're you good. Hear what you were saying. Are you Muslim? Are you Muslim too? Or are you Christian? Like, what are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim. Okay, alhamdulillah. Yeah, okay, no, but check it out though. Welcome. Yeah, 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 honey. But uh, uh, the, two, two v two. Do we do? <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm not like uh, I know a little bit. I'm, I'm studying both Christianity and Islam. I'm not yeah, like, that. yeah, good thing, bro. Comparative religions, mad fun. Like especially if you care about that type of stuff. But now check yeah. it out, Avery. Though there's there's I'm four checking. stages of there's four uh, stages of Tawhid. I think you mentioned one of them, which is like mm -hmm. uh like uh so meet, like yeah yeah. Uh, well, that's like attributes, but like of Tawhid, mm -hmm. like the oneness of God. And the first one is singling out the lordship of Allah. So, mm -hmm. like, you know what the, what Bob was saying, that there's no partners to God, etc. Now, in terms yeah. of the Quran being uncreated, uh, when you say uncreated, that obviously entails uh, eternity. Yeah? Yes. But, the, but everything, wouldn't you agree that everything existed eternally in the knowledge of God? It's not like no. God ponders upon, you wouldn't say that God ponders upon new ideas. Like, new ideas come into God's head. Is God not all-knowing? Does, does his knowledge not encompass everything? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but that doesn't mean that uh, what's in his knowledge is is in actuality. Those that those well, those course. things are just potential. Yeah, they don't actually course. exist yet. Of course, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So everything that that's when the, it's not like the Quran existed alongside Allah eternally. Nothing existed. You know, you know, in Islamic theology, the first thing that we say was created was the pen. It's the first thing that was created. So nothing existed eternally alongside Allah. Now, in terms of the Quran being uncreated, it's because it's the word of God. But you do know that on the day of judgment, we fully affirm that one of the major signs of the day of judgment is the Quran disappearing on every single Musa. There will be no, there will be no Quran left. And Allah will destroy everything. And the only thing that will remain is the face of Allah or the, the Allah himself. You know, just, I only say the face of Allah because that's how he described it in Surah Al-Rahman. You know, he says, like, which one of the, uh, your Lord's favors will you deny? And then he says that everything will perish except for the noble face of your Lord. So... It's not like, you know, eternity means that it has no beginning and no end. And if the, the beginning is in Allah's knowledge, okay, fine. But everything will be destroyed and it will return back to and stay eternally in, in Allah's knowledge. But nothing exists alongside Allah eternally. That's what you're asking. Okay. So does, when that, you make have, does that make sense? Well, well let's, let's see. So you have, you have something that, I, I got what you said. I got what you said, basically, that, mm. you know, that the Quran will pass away one day. It'll pass away. So it's not infinite i guess right it's not infinite yeah nothing is infinite except for Allah. nothing is infinite except for allah okay. yeah okay so you have the quran that's uncreated what you're saying is it's it's uncreated in the sense that it's in his thoughts is that what you're saying well again we say what i'm uh, there's nothing comparable to allah so you and i have thoughts now where where allah's knowledge is it's not like what is in, in his head I mean, it wouldn't be like uh, uh, comprehensible. I mean, I'm not sure. But, but, like, but, but it's in his knowledge. Actually, we, can say it's in, we can say it's in his knowledge, of course. But does knowledge. it actually exist? Hello, hello, hello. Well, of course. Uh, what's good, Rob? Uh, it was, I what's, talked to Rob yesterday, but his, his thing was cutting off. Uh, he was explaining to me like the Trinity, the Trinity, the Trinity, et cetera, et cetera. But no, it exists. So, yes. yeah, 
So do, in, when it's in his thoughts, does it actually exist, though? Well, of course not. There's nothing eternal alongside right. Allah, but it's in his knowledge. All right. So what the scholars are teaching is that the Quran actually existed. Well, bro, this is... Yeah, but you, you know there's... I mean, I'm pretty sure you would know that there's a, a debate amongst scholars, uh, and there's different there's differences of opinion, of course. And it's not wrong for any Muslim to take, like, a, a minority opinion. This isn't problematic okay. at all. Okay. So as long as we're understanding that, according to the majority of Islam, that the Quran is uncreated and has always existed along along with Allah. Right? No, there's a majority opinion. They're saying the Quran is uncreated. Is that something that we, yeah. that we, that we subscribe to? Yeah, it's the word of Allah. Of course it's uncreated. Okay, but good. Bro, so that, there, that means that it existed along with Allah. In the knowledge of Allah, not no, in actual see, that, form. All right, the so first let's thing, pause here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's yeah. pause here. Okay. Let's pause yeah, here. Because yeah, okay. okay. we have to make sure that we establish terms so we don't talk past each other and like go in circles. Yeah, so me and you agreed that if just because something is in Allah's knowledge does not mean it exists yet. It's just not. potential, right? Okay. okay. So it, it's something that's in Allah's knowledge that will eventually be created in actuality. Okay. Okay. The Quran itself, though, is uncreated. It's uncreated, okay. Okay. meaning that it's, it exists in actuality. And has been existing in actuality. It has not been existing in actuality before it was revealed. And even even if you want to say it's on the heavenly tablet, that's also creation. Remember, I mean, if you want to talk about talking, Islamic, I'm not talking about that either. I'm yeah, of course. But I'm I'm saying if you, I'm saying if you were to take that route, like of course you would go to the heavenly tablet. It's like the the normal thing that I don't know. Some some Christians that I speak to, they they go there next. But bro, I mean, you can't. I mean, if you're if you're gonna not, I'm not gonna say attack. But if you're going to question this part of the theology, you would have to affirm and you can't disregard the other one as well, which is the first thing that was created was the pen. Now you're no saying problem. that, yeah, but yeah, the first thing that was brought into existence. Now, bro, is it not that Allah says inside the Quran that he creates uh, with the word as well? He says, be it is. You're going, you're going too fast. Let's let's take this very slow. No. Okay. The first thing, the first thing that was brought into existence was the pen. Yeah. yeah. But according according to uh, the Islamic scholars and his teaching on this about the Quran, the Quran was never brought into existence. It wasn't created. The pen was though. Okay. Yeah. Like, so this, all, that, this is exactly what. I, yeah. So that would mean that the Quran was there before the pen was, because the Quran is not created, while the pen was brought into existence. The Quran was okay. never brought into existence. It always existed. And 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 where? Because when you're saying it always existed, where like like Allah existed and then the Quran was next to him, is it not that yeah. everything existed and not okay? Let me. I just what I just want to bring on to the second point before you said that. Let's go slower. But is it not that Allah also creates by saying like kun fa kun, or or sure. kun or kun? Yeah. So He says be and it is. So sure. does He also not create those things by the word like our souls? Did He not tell it to be and it is? So our our, uh, our souls. I don't, also, I, don't know, I don't know what it comes with our souls, but I just know that yes, there are things that according to the saying, Quran, Allah creates yeah. with His word. Yeah. So is it not that, that, for example, let's say our souls are created by the word? Sure, you can say that. Okay, but does that mean that, that our souls, uh, since they're created by the word of God, that they're also uncreated as well? I think you're missing it. The, the, word, the word of Allah being the source of the existence of another thing. Oh, okay. You know? So yeah, yeah, the separation between like Allah's word, between like what Allah's word creates. Correct. Okay, well, I think yeah, because what you're what you're bringing towards is uh something being boundless, like Allah's boundless. You say He has no beginning and no end. Now, if you if we say that the Quran has no beginning because it's uncreated, where it would exist would be inside the knowledge of Allah. And now you're saying that okay, now something uncreated does exist with us, but I'm saying that it, even it, that has an end. So that would break the whole claim of it being eternal it has an end, and Allah well, has I no end. Well, so so I didn't say eternal, but I said uncreated. So. What? If something is and and if it has an end, then that that's another another issue there too. Then, but just going slow. If G if um the if the Quran is uncreated and existed with Allah, okay, that means that there are because it cannot. That would mean that it, dude. That means it literally existed outside of his mind. It's in it's in actuality. It's not just no, in his mind. No, it's in no, actuality. Of course, of course, it's in his knowledge. Nothing, but what nothing. I'm saying is, is that it's not, it's in actuality. Of course, he knows all things, but there's an actual thing that exists. 
the Quran. It actually exists. Wait, why do you and, say and that? What? Oh, and what? Like, like in words? Or like, what do you say on, on yeah. the on the tablet? This yeah, is before. Whatever, Brother. whatever it was, yeah. whatever nature it was, the Quran, whatever the Quran is, okay. it existed with Allah. It was uncreated. It existed, okay, distinct yeah. from Allah. Wait, wait okay, how so, can you say yeah, that? Yeah, but yeah, before you before you say, that, let me respond. Before Allah says, "Be and it is." Does that also exist with Allah? And before he like, says be and it is? Yeah, before, before he what? says be. Like let's say before, before Allah creates something, it says be and it is. Does that exist within with, with, with Allah? Are or you saying the something or the word? Yeah, so is the word, is, is Allah's speech separate from himself? That, that's the question for you, is it? No, but I'm, but I'm asking because you're saying that the, the Quran existed outside of Allah. Like outside of Allah. It it's doesn't distinct exist inside of his. Yeah, it doesn't exist inside of his knowledge. No, so like for example, because you, you would say you, I don't think you follow divine simplicity, do you? As a Muslim, what, what is yeah? Fill me in on that. What so like, that? like, would you say that uh, Allah's knowledge is His power, or are those two distinct attributes? Yeah. So this is what I was talking about with the Lady Mary, Mary Harb, yesterday about uh, distinct attributes within Allah, and we spoke about how it's only problematic for a human being to comprehend. Why? Because our deciphering tool is language. So when we speak about Allah's attributes, whether they're distinct or not, we say one, which is the other. And in terms of how they're perfectly fused together within Allah being a perfect being, I mean, bro, there would be no proper way to conceptualize it. I mean, bro, so, I think... Uh, so do you do you affirm that they're different attributes? What, that, that they're, they're distinct they're from one another? That Allah's mercy is distinct from his anger? Yeah. Okay, yeah, but they're, are they all attributed to one person? Or one being? Sure. One being. Sure, sure, sure. So, 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 so it's these different attributes that make up, that combine to make up Allah, right? They don't make, they don't make up Allah. For example, well, like, let's say, let's say, uh, because they're completely indivisible. And in the same way, uh, the, the base of, of my hand is an atom. Is the atom itself indivisible? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So this, this, let's keep it to Allah's attributes. No, we are, we so are. I, but I have to bring this analogy so, so, so you can understand. Because yeah, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. My bad, bro. My bad. <laughs> this, 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 it's okay. This yeah. is a good conversation. Yeah, okay. The speech of Allah. Okay. The, his speech is his speech. Him is it is it equal to him? No, of course. Or is it distinct not. from him? No, of course not. It's the word of God, of okay. God. Right. So his speech is distinct from him, right? Okay. Yet yeah. it is still a part of his essence, right? Of his essence. <laughs> Yeah, because it proceeds from Allah. His, his speech proceeds from him, so it's part of his essence, even though it's distinct from him. Bro, uh, can I ask? Yeah, of course, I'll answer your question, but can I ask you a question, bro? You know that the Muslims affirm la ilaha illallah. So it's not that the Quran isn't the word of God, or we don't affirm that, but it's not worthy of worship. You're never going to find a, a Muslim bowing down to the Quran. No yeah, so there's a there's a, a, a distinction, obviously. Between it's not like we're gonna worship Allah saying be and it is. Allah says be and it, we're all gonna worship it. No, we're gonna worship Allah. His no word problem. is not his word is not worthy of worship. He himself is worthy of worship. No problem. So so here's my thing. My thing here with Tawheed is uh, being about the uniqueness of Allah and his attributes, like the specifically the Tawheed I'm talking about. Okay. The unique the uniqueness of Allah, the unification of his attributes. He's the only one with these. With these attributes, it cannot be applied to anything else in creation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, most one of, most better, yeah. Right. One of these things, one of these attributes, mm. is is him being uncreated. You know, self sufficient. He, he he didn't come into existence. That's one of these attributes of okay. Allah. Okay. So this cannot be applied to anything else other than Allah or how he breaks. Okay. This My is problem right. is. Yeah, yeah. So my so my problem is is that this attribute of uncreatedness is being applied to something that is not Allah. Okay, that's fine. I'll answer your question. Yeah, I'll answer your question. Uncreatedness entails what? Entails always existing. Exactly. Always it's boundless. Always. No no end, no beginning. So if in I'm the I'm beginning I'm if in the beginning I'm Allah existed and everything existed within his knowledge. Okay, <laughs> fine. Okay, then the, then the Quran is here. Okay, Quran on earth. The speech uh, uncreated, fun, but the Quran itself will come to an end. It won't exist anymore. Everything in creation, even the angels that hold Allah's throne, will come to perish. Everything. So it's not eternal alongside Allah. 
bro. I see the point that you're that you're. I see what you're proposing, and I see how it'd be uh how it'd be beneficial to to the biblical narrative. And what you're saying is not it's not like you're just bringing up some hogwash. This is a, a what you're what you're speaking on is a is a scholarly uh uh debate like among scholars. So it, what you're speaking on it has some some elements of truth in it, but nothing is like Allah. There's nothing comparable to him. He's completely unique. So nothing will be eternal alongside Allah. So bro. It's not like, for example, like you, like you believe on the day of judgment that Jesus Christ will still exist. Because of course they're all one being. They're one being. I'm not saying that you believe in three different gods. I, I understand the Trinity. But you're saying that Jesus Christ will exist forever, as will the Father and as will the Holy Spirit. Again, because they're one being, not because they're three different gods, but they're three different persons representing one being. But these three persons will always exist. Yeah, they're eternal, they're eternal. On the day of judgment, they'll still exist. Yeah, that's not the same in Islam. It's not the same conceptualization. The Quran will come to an end. The angels that hold Allah's stone will come to an end. Everything in creation will come to an end except Allah. And then Allah will say, might is for Allah. Power is for Allah. And then he'll bring everything back into existence. So, bro, I mean, I hope that clears up the, 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 mis, the not misconception. I'm not going to say it's a misconception. It's not like just something you're thinking about. But I hope that clears it. That nothing is eternal alongside him. So the only thing that you're saying is that the only difference between Allah and the Quran here is that the Quran will one day come to an end. So... This is where this is where a problem is. This is where the problem is, is that you have the speech of Allah, which is the Quran, right? Yeah. This is an attribute of Allah. And you're saying that it will come to an end. An attribute of Allah will come to an end. That's a problem. An attribute of Allah will come to an end. Yes, because Bro, the Quran if, is if, his speech. Okay, if the Quran was uh gone from his from his uh, knowledge, this would be mm. problematic. Did it no, exist? Okay, in, in the beginning, let's okay, let's look. In the beginning, it, it existed where infinitely in his knowledge. Okay, then he bestows it. No, 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 not infinitely in it. So, for my goodness, right? So, uh, Harun, yeah, you believe that Allah from the beginning, from eternity's past, has known everything, of course, including us, including you, right? Of course, are you uncreated? No, of course, I'm created. Exactly. So you were even though you existed in Allah's knowledge always, like not even okay. existed, just that Allah knew about you always does not equate to existence. Okay? okay. So the Quran, when it says that the Quran is uncreated, that means that it actually had existence. It existed. Okay. In yeah, uncreated. In actuality, and then, not just in thought. In okay, actuality. This is why, yeah, okay, this this is why I asked you. Before Allah speaks, does his speech exist? That's it. According to the doctrine, yes. According okay. to the doctrine, his speech is eternal. Okay, so before he before he speaks, where does his where does his speech exist? That's a great question for you, not me. In the knowledge of Allah. No, but if so, if the Quran, if the Quran is an uncreated, but you're also thing, saying the Quran is is eternal, so that's the problem that you're having. Like okay, those so two, he's saying it's those not. two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying it's not. Yeah. So those two statements don't go hand in hand. That's that's where you're having a problem at. I mean, yes. it's, it's it's not problematic. We look at it sequentially, like in a timeline, straight. Okay, you're saying that the, the speech of Allah will come to an end on Earth, not in the knowledge of Allah, bro. I said, what what did I say earlier? Then I not say that it would be a problem. It would be a problem if the if the it was revealed to humanity and then it uh it disappears from earth or something like that. It ends on the earth and then it also ends in the knowledge of Allah. Okay, then something's missing. We have knowledge being taken away from Allah, but it will exist infinitely in the knowledge of Allah. As does that's not existing. Exists, you okay, you what, just look. What, what's, a, what's a better word? What's a closer word other than existing? It's not existing because look, just as you just admitted. You came into existence, right? There was a yeah, point in time where you, Harun, came into existence. Okay, yes. Right? But yes. Uh, but at the same time, you would also say that Allah infinitely knew about you. You were always, you were infinitely in Allah's knowledge. Okay. Right? But that doesn't mean that you have infinitely existed, correct? Not, not, in, not in actualization, not in like in form, no. Thank you. So... That's what existence is. Existence is actuality. It's not potential. Something that's potential doesn't exist yet. It has something that that's potential will or has the potential to exist. Okay, so you're speaking on if God makes a decision, is it necessary or not? That's not what I'm speaking on. What? Yeah, yeah. No, this is exactly what you're speaking on. The Quran is uncreated, so you're saying that it's uh, uh, couldn't have been any other way. So the way that it exists inside. Uh, 
inside of the way it exists, it has always existed. Correct. Yes. If it's so uncreated, so, then that means so, it always existed. Yes. Yeah, and the it. way that it exists, like as if Allah didn't have a decision uh, whether to reveal it in the way he revealed it or not. Well, uh, so uh, there couldn't have been no changes to it because it's always been the same. It couldn't have been. He could not have been no okay. changes. Yeah, no. That's okay. another problem. Allah said, uh, what does it, does Allah not say that? Does, had he, does I'm saying, does Allah not say that uh, had he willed it, he could have, uh, he could destroy humanity. He could have destroyed humanity entirely and placed angels on the earth as successors. And there would be like no need for the Quran. The Quran would have never been needed. So I'm saying, so, that, he, that, he, so that's what I'm saying. So for things that exist, they're not necessary. If, if Allah doesn't will to reveal it. Time out. So those things are not contradictory. Allah having, if he wanted to, could just destroy creation, get rid of humanity. Then there being no need for the Quran to be revealed doesn't negate the fact that the Quran exists. Yeah, I it just clarified. wouldn't be being I, yeah. used. Yeah, I, I should have clarified. Yeah, like like we said, if Allah, like before Allah says, because because uh, earlier we talked about like the souls and how if Allah says be and it is and the soul is created. This is what I was alluding towards that the souls were created by Allah's word. Okay, now mm. does the decision that Allah makes is it absolutely necessary? Like, can he? Can he change his decisions? And I, that's why I brought the verse inside the Quran to say that if Allah willed, he could have destroyed humanity. In the same sense, that if Allah didn't want to reveal the Quran, he didn't have to reveal the Quran. And the same way that the way that the Quran was revealed, Allah could have made uh, different words differently or, or take out certain words and put it back, which is why we affirm abrogation. That Allah says inside the Quran that if uh, when, when, how, whenever he calls a, causes a, a verse from the Quran to be forgotten, uh, he replaces it with a verse that's better. So we affirm abrogation. So th certain things were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad so some that weren't meant for the rest of humanity. We also affirm the seven ahruf, you know, the seven letters in which the way that the Quran was revealed, seven Bro, modes of recitation. Do, so, do, wait, do you, do you, I don't think you realize the problems you're raising up right now, Haru. I'm saying. If the, if the Quran is uncreated, <laughs> Go ahead. This, is, this is a great point. If the Quran is uncreated, yeah. how can a verse be deleted or gone? Because if Allah, it's uncreated. It, because it's it's uncreated when Allah determines the, the way that it's going to be. So it's it's you're, huh? you're making wait wait, but you're making it seem as if Allah had to reveal the Quran in the way that He had to, like He's like the like the decisions that He decides to make is absolutely necessary, bro. This is not the case, bro. But I feel like you already know this. Wait wait wait. So like so, but, but, so hey, you're before, so you're before, saying that so you're saying the Quran is. Let me just ask this real quick, real quick. Yo, wait before you ask you're, you're saying the Quran is. You're saying the Quran is pre-abrogated and uncreated at the same time. Okay, let, let's make this clear. Okay, that's tough, now we're, bro. Now, now we're speaking on because, bro, you're, we're both theists, so we both uh, agree on the existence of God. And this is a, a a point where atheists come and try to attack uh, theists or people who believe in God. This is the point: uh, is is God's decisions that He makes uh, determined or undetermined, like His own decisions? I mean, and this would be a problem, not even a problem. This would be like a, a, I don't know, a fun thing to entertain for all theists. I mean, because it goes for everything. It's like you guys believe that each person inside the Trinity has not their own will, but it's all one will. They all have the same exact will. So is the things that they will, is it uh, uh, absolutely necessary or can they make a, di a different decision as well? And bro, obviously, if we affirm abrogation, then what, uh, whatever Allah wills to be uh, uh, in the Quran for the rest of humanity to read, then it's there. Whatever he doesn't, doesn't. So he's the determiner. Uh, of his decisions. It's not like something else is determining his decisions. Okay. So you have a uncreated Quran, okay. a Quran that actually exists, that is there, all of its verses, all of its ayats, yeah. right there in, in the Quran, uncreated from eternity's <laughs> past. Right? As, like we said, it becomes uncreated when Allah determines what it's going to be. How does in the it same become way, uncreated? How can something become if this, it's uncreated? That's what I'm saying. So in the same way, Allah says, be and it is. He's, it, and before he says it, where does it exist? In his knowledge. Does, now, could that, he have made bro, a different decision? Could he Could he have created by saying right, something so, else? So, so, like, so Haroon, it was. Haroon, you, keep, you keep going back to this, which is, I'm, I'm, you're, you're not being consistent. <laughs> I'm, being I'm trying absolutely. to show you where you're inconsistent, dude. Okay. If you're, you're saying that something in Allah's knowledge yeah. exists, that's that's what you just said, but at the same time agreed with me 
that you didn't always exist, even though you were in Allah's knowledge. Okay, so yeah, again, we need we need it. to stay on one. We need to make yeah, sure yeah. that we are on one thing, so we don't yeah, keep right. going in a circle. That's fine. So we can move I, forward. Yeah, I brought. I brought. Me? Yeah, I, yeah, of course, honey. I brought the the. I paraphrased what we're speaking on, and is is it is God's uh, decisions that He makes? Is it determined, or is it undetermined? And I already said that we affirm abrogation. So, bro, the Quran. And the, uh, and the way that it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, some verses were revealed and then some verses were caused to be forgotten. And then some verses were uh, uh, replaced with something that's better or something that's uh, perfect for humanity to read after him. So, bro, the, the whole stance gets broken when you affirm abrogation. You're saying that the way that the Quran I is agree. now, you're saying that the way that the Quran is now uh, uh, is the, uh, in, the, in the knowledge of Allah. But the, when the Quran was being revealed, some verses were caused to be forgotten. And some verses were abrogated. This is clear, clearly stated in the Quran, and there's evidences inside the Quran as well. So, bro, this whole those, this whole thing is is this this whole this whole notion of the Quran being uncreated. We, okay, we already established that it will come to an end, and then you said it's problematic that it's going to come to an end because it's uncreated, because the way that it exists now, it has always existed in the knowledge of Allah. And then I told you that Allah is the determiner of His own decisions. So he could choose what stays inside the Quran and what doesn't because we affirm abrogation. There's some verses so, in the Quran that... Slow, slow down, slow down. So when you, you clarified what you meant by it's it's going to disappear, not from existence, but from this earth. Okay. Just like the Quran existed before coming on this earth, before okay. he brought it down and revealed it to the earth, you're saying that he's going to take it away from the earth. Not So that doesn't mean that it's going to cease to exist, That only that it's not going to be here present on the earth anymore. Okay. So what are you trying to say? So you're saying that the Quran will come to an end. Okay. Ex existentially, but that's not the case. If all you're saying is that, oh yeah, Allah is just going to remove it from the earth, not that it's not going to exist anymore. Well, of course, it's going to continue to exist in the knowledge of God. Okay. So when as, something as is well, everything else, bro. Got it. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm going to ask you this one thing, okay. and I want you to be clear with me. Inshallah. Okay. Yeah, be so clear with me and so, so that we can, yeah, so that we can yeah I'll try my best. I, like again i'm not a scholar just a thinker just like you are. oh yes it's yeah. it's simple trust me it's very simple okay good did you exist in the in the knowledge of god before you were created uh yeah did you always exist no thank you so being in the knowledge of god does not e equal existence correct not existence in the way that exists now no, no. Okay, so being in the knowledge of God does not equal existence. Okay. Potentiality, not actuality. Okay, good. Okay. So now that we have that settled, let's stop going to the knowledge of God and referring to it as existence because that's not existence. Well, we agree. You, okay. No, no, okay, okay. Existence physically in this world, in this universe. Actuality. For, for me, no, existence for me, existing from my human experience, Obviously, it's not the same as existing before I existed in the knowledge of God. Yeah. But, bro, is, is God I'm all knowing? Actuality. Yeah, of course. Actuality. Of course. Actu but actuality is not something that uh, God is limited by. You agree, and please answer this. You agree that God is all seeing and all knowing and all hearing. So, is it not that God understands not only what's uh, decreed, but also what the possibilities or potentialities infinitely of what anything else could have been? And yes. is all seeing and all knowing and all hearing of those uh, uh, possible instances as well. Yes. Do those possible instances exist already? And the knowledge of God. And I, I hope this is something that you affirm as a, as a theist as well. As if you believe in an all knowing God, this is something that you have to affirm. And this is what I'm speaking with we're Mary. Gonna, we're going to go in circles if you can't be consistent. No, we're not. Probably. We're not. No, no, no. We're not. Look, look, don't don't go back to what you said before. Address the new point that then I brought. Stop switching. I, no, I'm not switching. What did I say the whole time? What I've been saying. God is all you just you, we, we no, literally just got on, a, okay. we literally just got on a page, Haroon, together. No, no we didn't get on a page. God's so knowledge does not equal existence. Okay, and what did I respond to that? Because you I don't think you remember. You I said, agreed with I, that. No, no, what did I respond to that? I said okay. And you I agreed. Said, um, okay, what did I say after that? Because I just explained it. Now we're gonna go back uh, uh, about uh, 45 seconds earlier. I said from my human experience, me existing as a human here is not the same as me existing in the knowledge of God. But I said to God, okay, and please please follow me here. 
to God, God is what? All knowing, all seeing, all hearing. So he hears and sees and knows all potentialities. Okay, now what he wants to determine uh, to be in the actual existence is up to him. But he knows and sees and hears everything that's decreed in the same way that he knows and hears and sees everything that's not decreed. There's no distinct differences between the two because his knowledge and his sight and his hearing is absolute. Before you, before Allah created you in actuality, were you uncreated? Were you an uncreated being or entity? Okay, yeah, you're asking me a question. I, I, first, I would like to see, do you agree with what I'm saying first? Before we go in another circle, do you agree with what I just proposed? I sure. understand what you're saying, but what you gotta what you gotta understand is is that you, you guys are kind of talking past each other. We're not. Um, no, we're not. Avery, yeah, yeah yes, you are. are. God, God logic is, is is speaking of something completely different, and you are continuously trying to get us to understand the knowledge of Allah. No, but you have to understand that the knowledge of your existence does not mean the same thing as what God logic is bringing up. He's not talking about the knowledge because he already told you that the knowledge that you would at some point in time exist doesn't mean that you pre-existed, right? It doesn't mean that. And you're trying to get us to understand that, yeah, Allah knew that I would exist at one point and this, this, and that. But that's not the conversation that he's trying to actually have with you. So you got to kind of listen to what God logic is saying. We already understand that if he's all knowing, of course, he knew that you would, uh, you know, potentially exist at one point. But that doesn't mean that you pre-existed. You understand what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, of course, I understand. So what so you're so no. so you got to stop explaining that to us because we get that already. No, no, no. OK, me and God logic uh, or Avery, we're establishing a foundation of understanding because the differences and our stance points is coming from our differences and foundations of understanding. Now, he seems to think that Allah is limited uh, in knowledge and in seeing and in hearing to what is going to be decreed, as if Allah is not the determiner of what is decreed and also has knowledge of all potentialities and understands it and hears it and sees it in the same way of the things that are decreed. So once we establish this, this foundation, then this whole notion uh, of the Quran uh, uh, existing, uh, being uncreated inside the knowledge of God, and it, like it's absolutely determined to exist the way it does, not as if Allah didn't understand every single other potentiality of the Quran, uh, uh, of what it could have been. Once we establish that 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 God's knowledge uh, encompasses fully potentialities, and He hears it and sees it and knows it the same way that He understands and hears and sees the things that are decreed. I mean, then the whole this whole notion will be so what does his knowledge have to do with something actually existing because what i'm saying is it does not matter if it actually exists or not okay so if something when you say in that that shows that you're not even dealing with what i'm asking you or of course it up. Next, next topic no I, I, bro your stance bro, avery your stance will never change on anything until you accept that God fully encompasses in knowledge and sight and hearing potentialities just as well as How does that, yeah, and there is no difference. Do? I don't, but there, I don't have to believe that it's consistent in Islam. I can believe that God in his knowledge encompasses all knowledge and potentialities. Okay. Is that consistent in Islam in Islam? I'm arguing no. What's okay. how am okay. I arguing no? That you have no. a Quran that's uncreated, while at the same time is being able to be changed. Verses deleted and replaced with verses that are better or more perfect than the previous one. That is okay. literally inconsistent. Okay. And that makes that no sense. So if you have here, yeah, yeah. if you have here, hold on a second, please, because I, I listened to you for a long time. Yeah, of course. Sean. And, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, and, and you're not, <laughs> yeah, you're right not right, dealing right. with what I'm saying, but it's all good. Okay, good. You're not dealing with what I'm saying. Okay. If good. you have something that is uncreated, you admitted earlier, you okay. said it out of your mouth. Okay. That I was in the thoughts of Allah. But that doesn't mean that I existed. So we agreed that the knowledge of Allah and something that in, in existence are two different things. They're okay. not the same. They're two different things. So take out knowledge, deal with existence, something actually existing. The, your scholars teach that the Quran is uncreated, meaning that it has always existed. There's never a time where the Quran came into existence. There's never a time when the Quran was created. It's uncreated. So if okay. it's uncreated, 
then that's two things that you have that have this attribute of uncreatedness, okay. something that has always been, because the Quran is not Allah, and Allah is, in, uh, is uncreated. The Quran is uncreated. That's two things that you got that's uncreated. Okay. Not in the thoughts of Allah, but in actuality. Okay. That's what okay. I want you to deal with. Stop okay, dealing with fine. the thoughts of Allah. No, fine, fine. Okay. The, the knowledge of Allah is an attribute, like you said, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Is the knowledge of Allah uncreated? Is it? That's according to you. Let You let me know. This is your well, doctrine. Yeah. Well, of course, bro. But is, this is the same way that if I'm speaking to an atheist and giving them some philosophical argument for the existence of God, and they just tell me, okay, no, you tell me what you think. Their stance will never change. So you have to run down the thought path as well. Do you believe that Allah's knowledge is... I don't have a belief about Allah. I'm only going about what is taught in according to your doctrine. Okay, so, so why all, would you have a all problem? of the attributes according to your doctrine are eternal, are uncreated. Okay, so right? why, okay, so why would you have a problem with with Islamic theology if it's not even something that you subscribe to? I mean, if we're gonna entertain a conversation about it, if you're gonna entertain a conversation about it, so you can take a new stance, uh, but then you will opt out when I ask you a question saying that I don't believe in it anyway, then we're not gonna move forward. I, I'm just no, asking you a question. No, you, no, you believe? You're, no, you're okay, asking, wait, you're no, asking, wait, no, no, you're asking no, what I believe I'm, about yeah, Allah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I know you're not a Muslim. You're I, know you're not I Muslim. believe about Allah. No, my probably. belief about Allah is I don't believe I, I don't believe that the Allah of Islam is real. Of course not. That's I'm my belief about Allah. I'm saying, but I'm Christian. going with I'm going with what your scholars teach. Yeah, I'm according to your scholars. So asking me, do you believe that Allah's knowledge is eternal? That no. what does that have to do with me? Bro, you answer your, that question, and bro, I'll go with your answer. Bro, from your Christian perspective of Islamic theology, of course that's the that's the stance point you're you're speaking. My from, Christian perspective of Islamic theology. Yeah, that's yeah. You're you're speaking from your Christian perspective of Islamic theology. I'm saying from no, your no. This is this is the Islamic no, perspective, bro. We no this, of, <laughs> no no, bro, bro, bro. Listen, I said, of course you don't believe in Allah. Of course you don't. You're not, you're not a Muslim. You're yeah, but, from but your you just said no, no, so no, no, no. Saying, We're, no, so, neither no, of no, us. Wait, 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 bro, bro, bro Haroon. Let me, let me, neither of us no. are speaking from our Christian perspective. This is from Islamic theology that we're uh, speaking bro, from. Bro, uh, bro, uh, this bro. is the problems that you guys have created, not you more say, but in general, your scholars and things that have argued this position. It is not coming from a Christian perspective, bro. bro of Trust course me. not. Of course okay, not. Okay, so, so bro, why what, did you just say it no, twice? What I, no, what I said to Avery, I said, uh, uh, I asked him, what, what do you believe Allah's knowledge is uh, uncreated? And then he said, I don't believe in Allah. Bro, of course not. I'm not saying that you believe in Allah. I'm just saying, like, obviously, from your Christian's perspective, you're looking at it from Islamic theology. I'm not saying that you subscribe to uh, Islamic beliefs. I'm just asking from, from, your, from your perspective of Islamic theology. Do you believe that uh, Allah's knowledge is, is uncreated? Like, what would you say to that? Of course, I would yeah, say that it's uncreated. According, according to Islamic theology, his knowledge is uncreated. Okay, perfect. So Allah's knowledge is uncreated. And does, does his knowledge encompass absolutely everything? That's potentialities. What do you mean by that's, that? Does, uh, does oh, he know? Oh, so does his knowledge possess, like, does he know all things? Yes, he knows all things. Okay, so all things in the knowledge of God are uncreated. Now, in terms of what is is put into creation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why did you just, why did you whoa, try to slip whoa. in there? Oh, my what, goodness. His, him knowing something doesn't mean that something is un... We already... We're backtracking again, man. Yeah, this, again. Like, this no, we're not, is crazy. I don't know why bro, you keep going to the knowledge of God and not dealing with actual existence. Because you're not understanding that the difference between that, for God, means nilch, nothing. I told you that the way that God... Bro, okay, listen. We, can I, can we I already established the knowledge no, no, you, of something no, that would exist doesn't mean that it exists yet. To, okay, and So and what, you got to stop I, bringing that up. Bro, you literally just tried to okay. slip that in. No, I didn't and thought we didn't in. catch it. You did. You just said it. Okay, I think this. I think this is a a, um, a problem of of, of comprehension. Uh, okay, can I... you restate what you just said about a <laughs> yes, minute ago? Because yes, okay, of please it, it, no, say it slow because okay. I I don't I don't think you understand what you're saying. Okay, you literally so you, just if, said if, it. If there's something that you disagree with, then please tell me why you disagree. Uh, I doubt, I doubt that I've said this already because obviously we're not moving forward. If we, like I said earlier, like five minutes ago, if we don't establish and we don't have the same foundation of understanding, okay. Now listen, we established just now that God's knowledge is uncreated. Okay. Okay, and we also established that God's knowledge encompasses what's decreed and what's potentialities as well, all of mm -hmm. it, and He's okay. all seeing and all hearing and all knowing of all of it. Right. Okay. Now. 
when he decides to determine it into and, actual into actual existence listen okay when he decides to determine it into actual existence the actual existence and the potentialities that exist in his knowledge have zero difference because he's all seeing and all hearing of all potentialities and all things that are actualized. What okay. Avery's proposing. So did you? So wait, 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 wait hold wait, on. Wait, you you missed one let me, thing. You left one thing okay. out that you said. You said that would make all of that uncreated in his knowledge. When he so are you changing your position on that? No, no. When he determines it, it's created. But the potentiality. But it doesn't it, make it uncreated. When, do, 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 okay, listen. When he determines it, it is okay. Worth. It is what created it, when he determines it. Okay, did, but you did, said did, his wait, knowledge of question. Okay, did, you said, but you said okay, his knowledge you, of what would. Can I ask you a question? Uh, listen, okay, I don't, I don't think you, I don't think you're getting what you're saying here. I, bro, I'm, I'm trying to ask you a question <laughs> so you can understand. Because if I'm saying something that that you don't, I understand what you guys are saying. I'm replying to it. And don't you don't understand you my mean. response. I'm saying, when God determines something, where does it come from? What knowledge? Undetermined knowledge undetermined knowledge everything that god determines comes from something undetermined because that's his knowledge so the way that god understands what's decreed and what's not decreed he understands all of it he's all seeing all seeing all hearing and all knowing of what's decreed and what's not decreed okay. what's the difference between things decreed and not decreed it would the only difference would be from our human perspective like, for example, my human perspective, there's potentialities of uh, I could have did something else or something not. OK, I, I don't experience these these different things because they're not in front of me. I can't see. I can't hear. I don't know it. But God knows all of it. He his his knowledge is infinite, infinite. What is the difference between something determined and something not determined? That something is created and something is uncreated. So if it's, it's in the knowledge of God, it's uncreated. And if, if what is the So something is in the knowledge. Wait, there we are again. So we're going to move on, man. We're going to move on from this because, you know, no, I think you're about to change your stance. If, if you entertain thing. this for about a few more minutes, we finally built the foundation. No, I think no, I think no, the no, topic no. is pretty much done. No, man. Yeah. No. We... Bro. Wow. <laughs> all, bro. Wow. So, Avery. Avery. We got we got a Haroon. We got to switch. We got to switch no, topics. Gang, man. Gang, and, gang, you, gang. and you can and you can lead the next topic because. No, gang, Haroon, gang, gang. Honest, honestly, no, we've been no, on this no. way too long and you're literally going in circles, repeating the same thing after saying something else later on. Okay. Um, but going right back to it exists in the knowledge of God, it's uncreated. Avery, so I, Avery, we, we Har can't keep Haroon, 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 let me respond to God logic. You, I'll respond you're to you about to say, let me respond to God you, logic. Let me wait, hold on Avery. one second because wait, 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 because he this is he, he doesn't want to continue to have bro, the bro, conversation. Bro, let bro, me just let, me, add, yeah, let me just throw this really quick in there before you say what you got to say because I do agree that we should do another topic. Okay, fine. So listen. Just to just this is the last question that I'm gonna ask on this, and you can you know talk yeah. say yeah. whatever you want to say. Listen, does Allah's knowledge that you would one day exist mean that you pre-existed, aka are uncreated? Yes or no? Okay, I'll answer your question after I respond to because Avery. that kills the whole art your no, whole I'll argument. answer I'll answer your question after I respond to Avery. Avery, you you have lives with Muslims. OK, and you, and you pose this question to them. OK, I mean, a lot of them just say they don't know this, that and the third. None of them have have proposed what I'm proposing, not to say that I'm coming with something high and mighty, like I'm on some high horses, some some revolutionary knowledge or something like that. Yeah. But you're in a position now where you can change your stance. I mean, I see you pondered it over a second and you asked me a question. And as soon as you're about to switch your stance, you, you stick to your original. Bro, bro, I'm not the type to, to bend narratives to, to, to fit what I feel. But if new knowledge comes to me, I accept. That's that's one of the qualities of having a soft heart. Bro, I, I, I propose something to you. Yeah. And I said everything in the knowledge of God is undetermined. And then when it's created, it is then determined. So our existence, the Quran's existence, all of it was once undetermined. And then it is determined because it exists inside the knowledge of God, not in the same way in physical form. Now you're about to respond, and instead of responding, you want to end the conversation right when you're about to change your stance. This is something new to propose, bro. Look, check it out. If 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 it's cool, it's 100 cool. If you just want to say I don't know or I don't think about it or something like that, but I wouldn't say throw it I all under the rug. You... Wow, bro. this is crazy, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> it, it, the conversation is circular. Let's just move on, bro. Like I, it was. The, the whole I get it, Haroon. I, 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 we, bro, we understand, bro. But it's, it, it it's not working, bro. Let, the, listen, fact that you, the fact that nothing you said that you that said. Moment, uh, the yeah. fact that he said that there was a moment where I was like actually pondering, pondering and ready to switch my oh, stance. My that goodness. like that that shows that you have. You can't read facial expressions. Yeah, all, you you, you cannot read. I mean, bro, no, right, no, bro. you look you look down and then you ask me a question. I mean, and then He's, you were about to respond to the question instead of responding to the question, you up it up. Those were facial expressions of irritation. <laughs> oh, okay. Not no, no. pondering. Oh my god! Logic 